the wrestling t-shirt wearing, championship ring wearing, deal stealing, toy dealing, hot wheel riding, dragonfly flying, son of a gun. And I'm having a hard time keeping these credit card bills down. Welcome to a flare for toys. It's said uncultured heathen. It's your boy beef. Now we're here today, we're not doing no unboxings, but we're gonna go over a couple figures that I unboxed about a week or so ago. Really like these figures. So without further ado, to get the old man goggles on. We're gonna get into it real quick for a little bit. Now this ain't gonna be like yesterday. I ain't gonna be complaining. It still has bro figures. But as you know, the G.I. Joe team over there is doing their thing. I wish the Marvel Legends team were as good as the Joe team, but I hate to say it, guys, y'all not got it cracking like that right now. So let's just dive into it. Now, I know I have the helmet, but I already got it boxed away. The helmet looks okay on Duke, but I don't remember him really ever having the helmet on that much. I liked it better like this. Now, when I first put this on, the binoculars were over this. I had to push them up underneath and go around the head. I think they look a lot better like that. Otherwise, they're just kind of flopping out here. But if you want to do that, you can. Uh, he did come with another weapon, but I got it put up. But I really just like this figure. I like the detail in the backpack, the head sculpt, you know, the little U.S. flag on the shoulder and everything. I, I just think this is a really well done figure. Uh, I did not bring the Recondo over here. I have done a Recondo, but I think I think it's the sleeper one of the line. I think everybody kind of slept on it, but it is really well done too. So, but I think these kind of overshadow it. Uh, but but this Scarlet, you got two different ponytails. I thought they were getting away of the backpack, but they really don't. Uh, can hold everything pretty much. You got the little quiver right there for the, the arrows. Got the little crossbow. Got two more machine guns. Got the knife on the side. Now, I know you cannot use these because they are painted detailed on, but I really like this aspect. If you look right here, it's got two Chinese stars right there. And then if you look on the inside of the arm right there, there's a little pistol molded and painted in right there. I really like that detail. Uh, the little smoke grenade, you know, it doesn't come off, but man, it just, they look really well. They're doing a really good job with these retros. Not that they aren't with the classifieds, the classifieds are too, but these retros are really catching me and taking me back to the old school 3.75 figures. So I just wanted to show these real quick and talk a little bit about them and, and just say, <clears throat> you know, why can we get all this? Look at that, all kinds of places to hold weapons, right? But with this cable, we can't hold no weapons except in the hands. I'm just saying, I said no cable, we wasn't gonna go there. but. The G.I. Joe team from Hasbro is doing really good. We'll talk a quick minute about the Yojo June. I mean, I don't think it was an ecstatic announcement or anything today. I think the, the most number one for me out of the four that went up for order, which still may be up for order right now, uh, Alpine was number one. Probably the, the Storm Shadow Series 2 or version two, whatever, probably after that. And then the Grenadier Soldier and the Bat, you know. I, I mean, they're all right, but I never was a big fan of really those troopers that much. But I'll at least get one of each. I'm not going to army build it or whatever. But, uh, and then the ones they announced down the road, I'm trying to remember. I mean, the retro line... Is okay that Cobra Commander is probably the best one out of that set. What are you getting? Cobra Commander, the Officer, and Stalker. Yeah, I mean, the Stalker looks up. They all look okay, but I just don't think they're going to be as big as hitters like this wave was. To me, this might be the best wave so far. 
So, you know, which I don't know, I ain't got the beach head and those in yet, but so far, I think this wave that came with Rakondo, Duke, and Scarlet, to me, is the best of the retro waves so far. You can disagree if you want. Put in the comments. And then the the Stinger, was it the Stinger? I don't remember. I think that's what it was. Or the Striker, something that they put out there. I don't know. I mean, I, I'll end up getting it all, but I don't know. I, I, there wasn't nothing that really just grabbed me too much. You know, that's, oh, I can't, I can't really just wait for this one, but it's all good, though. We, we did get the pre-orders in for today. We got more coming up, I think, next Tuesday, and then maybe the Tuesday after that. I'm not sure. I think most of it finishes up on, like, the 18th, but Oh, now I do like the deluxe figures. I do like that. The Sergeant Slaughter, which I'd already saw that Slaughter. He had actually showed me. I just couldn't. I mean, I could tell people, but I couldn't show them and talk about it really. But uh, he had actually showed me the figure when I met him at the Comic-Con. Um, <coughs> but I like the Marauder three-pack. Well, it's not a three-pack. It's the Low Light and Spirit and then uh, Sergeant Slaughter. But, you know, it wasn't too bad. But anyway, we're not going to run all day. Y'all tell me if there's something you're really looking forward to on the Yojo June. This is what we talked about. Just remember, here in a few minutes, we will be going live. We're going to have Robert O'Connor, 111, live with me in the Toy House. 6 p.m. Central, 7 p.m. Eastern. And I may be leaving, but I'm still that uncultured heathen.